In this video we're going to see how to add the gateway uh, into the management server using Ansible. If you're following along this video series, uh, in the last one uh, we saw how to configure the gateway or the management server using Ansible uh, by finishing the first time configuration wizard. So we are at this step where we have to add the gateway. So right now as you can see I don't have the gateway installed and I don't have any policy so I have already the script ready here so let's take a look first at uh, my inventory file what I change uh, as you can see here for the gateway still the same I just updated the uh, information related to measurement server uh, just to allow the to use the connection uh, HTTP API okay so just telling to use SSL don't trust uh, don't validate certification uh, certificate uh, and the credentials okay network network OS that is going to use so for our playbook uh, I have I uh, created three playbooks and the first one is going to be to add the gateway let's take a look at that uh, it is going to use um, the module simple gateway and it's going to pass some parameters like the gateway IP address the name uh, the stick and the gateway version internal interface and external interface and it after adding the gateway is going to publish those changes uh then we're going to add an, an, our internal network and i just have to add the name the network the mask and i'm going to enable NAT as well so uh, it is going to be dynamic NAT, meaning that uh, all the network will be translated to the gateway ip address the external ip address okay and it's going to publish the session those change as well now at the, and the last step we're going to create an access rule okay and it's going to add the source our internal network it's just going to allow to reach any destination at any service port and it's going to publish and install the policy on the gateway okay i have here my second task for some reason this uh when i'm using this uh this method it's failing so i had to go this uh this module install policy to install the policy okay so let's fire the first playbook this one I think it looks okay. And we should see the gateway. Okay, just added the gateway. Some verbose output. Okay, so gateway was added. So now let's add the network. And I want to see now. some more outputs. I'm going to add the net. Add here. You can see network was added. And we look at our policy. Right now it's empty, but take a look at net rules. We see the net rules already created for this network. So now let's add uh, the rule. Okay. Going to add the access room. And it's going to install the policy as well. It looks good. See here. 
created and now it's installing policy So there are different options, different parameters that I could add, but just gives an idea of what we can do uh, using SVO and the API on the management server. In the policy called process. So one thing to notice, uh, I don't know if I showed. Oh, yeah, just finish. Okay. So one thing that I don't know if I have already covered in previous videos is that uh, to use the API calls you have to enable here, you have to tweak this. Uh, by default it's, it is selected just to receive, uh, to accept the management IP address. So you can select a range of IP address, you can just open to all any IP address so for this this is a live environment so I'm just selecting all IP address using this in the production environment obviously you have to use some filter for that okay so that's it hope you guys enjoyed this one so don't forget to subscribe to the video hit that like button and I'll see you on the next one take care